Hello everyone, my name is Dirk Jansen. I'm the youth representative of the Netherlands to the United Nations. And that's a very special function. I can be the uh, link between youth and the UN. And I personally mostly focus on water. And that's why I'm here at the World Water Day 2011 in Cape Town. I've seen a lot of people where I spoke with people from all around the world. And that's very nice because you see the passion and the need for working together on water issues. I'm 20, but two years ago, and that's uh, the moment when I was triggered for water, I was in Ghana, and I was in Rwanda a bit before that. And I saw uh, youth just like me, the same age, with the same wishes, with the same desires of developing yourself, of taking opportunities, that are sometimes limited because they get sick from water, or they don't have enough food. And these two, uh, just solu uh, these two examples show and illustrate that these two big problems, water and food security, are so much interlinked and so much limit the development of youth. What I'm passionate about and what I think is super important is that right now if you look at this World Water Day, most of the people are men and they're above 50. We need to involve youth in this issue, this global issue that is pressing now but is so pressing in the future. We need to involve youth and for that I'm setting up a project that I'm really passionate about. I want to involve youth from all around the world at the World Water Forum in Marseille in March 2012. And what I mostly see and when I speak with youth that comes forward is that the political commitment is lacking, that we need to act. So I would like to make a vision on water governance together with youth around the world. And here at the World Water Forum I'm working and lobbying for that. But probably maybe changes because we could also talk as youth on other water issues. But what I believe in is that youth should be involved, not in the future, but right now. And what is the, the, the key message, uh, one of the key messages that you picked out of this one that you would be able to use in your lobby uh, work for youth involvement? Um, one of the key messages is that it's not there yet, actually. Uh, it's, it's, it's not absent. But there are a lot of people that are uh, enthusiastic about it, willing to do it. Uh, and I do also see one of the issues I picked up is that water and climate change is very uh, pressing. A lot of people pay a lot of attention towards it and are open for trying to get one main message across countries uh, and hopefully also together with youth on working on this issue. The project that you're announcing, what, what does that entail in a few words? In, in a way it's make meaningful youth participation. Like you normally sometimes have youth involved, but they participation are in, in what? In water issues, in the discussion on water water issues. And sometimes you have the youth or kids just like around the corner being there and say, Oh we have youth. Um, and I don't think that's meaningful. What I think we need to do is give our own uh, perspective. But we can't beat the adults, the experts in knowledge, but we can beat them in uh, seeing like this is what you promised to do this is what you said was necessary and you did not do it this is what you did there are inconsistencies there you can be a moral voice um, and secondly we can say this should happen or this should happen just like the solutions that are there but are not done you can press uh, for it so that's what my project entails is this in one country or is it around the globe hopefully it's around the globe we're really setting it up that's why I'm here today um, and yesterday and the day before but people can uh, participate. So, for example, you can uh, send me an email. Uh, that's okay. Um, if you're interested, uh, Dirk Jansen. It's D I R K J A N double -S, S E N at N J R dot N L. So, if you're interested, from all around the globe, you're very welcome. Okay. Thanks very much.